I rise in support of my legislation, H.R. 1339, the Precision Agriculture Satellite Connectivity Act, which I am pleased to introduce with the general lady from Illinois' second district. For years, large sections of my district and rural areas across America have lacked access to fast broadband connections. Reliable internet access is more than just being able to stream your favorite TV shows and movies. It's the critical link connecting us all. Whether it's helping seniors access telehealth services or allowing students to complete homework assignments or enabling small businesses to reach global markets, our people, country, and economy run on reliable internet connections. Farmers in rural Ohio also know that reliable broadband connections are essential to their operations. After all, it helps deploy technologies that increase their productivity, produce higher yields, and minimize co operating costs. Today's smart agricultural technology from autonomous tractors and, and distributed soil sensors rely on internet connections to share data. In fact, farmers use information in real time to make smarter decisions on how to optimize inputs and whether and when to plant or harvest. And when terrestrial or cellular networks are not available, satellite broadband steps in to make these technologies work. However, it's not just advanced satellite broadband capabilities that improve precision agriculture. Earth imaging satellites also provide important information that can help farmers and ranches identify visual trends that may require immediate attention. As we heard in hearings from before the Energy and Commerce Committee, satellite communications technologies can offer an array of services that may promote precision agriculture. In order to ensure our regulations maximize these opportunities, our legislation directs the FCC to evaluate its rules and identify potential changes that could further promote precision agriculture. I'm committed to ensuring our farmers have the tools needed at their disposal to help increase productivity while minimizing costs. This legislation is a good step forward in that mission. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support this legislation and reserve the balance of my time.